Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. It's Tish with Naptime Creations. Today I am going to be doing a ball smash on this glass. I've really been on a kick on pouring on glass lately, but I mean you can get these 8x10 picture frames at the Dollar Tree here in the U.S. and it comes with a frame. So I mean, why not? If you're just playing around and having fun, that's cheaper than a canvas. Um... I'm going to have tablecloth around my workstation um, just because this is going to get messy. So I'm going to take my flow trawl and I'm going to strain it. I always shake it up good. I don't need, you don't need a whole lot of paint for this. Um, your paint just has to be pretty thin. So... These are six ounce cups, and I think I'll just do about half full, so three ounces of Floetrol. And if you do this um, method with your strainer, don't forget to wash it um, because it gets really nasty and dried on there, so that's not fun to clean off. One time I forgot and I had to like take a toothbrush and clean it with super hot water. It took me literally 40 minutes to clean it. I was thinking about adding some of this to my um, paint just to see what to see what happens. Add it to the white background. So I'm going in with my Decoart Americana Snow Titanium White and that's gonna be my background so I'm going to use a little bit more white than any other color. So I did about a third full on there. I don't need much of the green and purple and silver. Um, so this is the sweet mint. So I'm just going to do like a dollop. Not much at all. Um, I forgot to say this is for a challenge. Um, I'm in a group on Instagram called the Fluid Art Loop. And um, there's a challenge every week just using different colors, and I was given colors um, violet, lime green, and silver. And these are what I came up with, so. This is purple iris. It's really close to violet. I tried this um, challenge already, and I used a different purple. It was a lot lighter, and it did not turn out good. I was like, oh wow. I had to scrape the entire painting. And I think part of the problem was my canvas. My canvas was really, really, really thin. So that didn't help. I ended up just experimenting. So I usually just do one-third paint, two-thirds flow trawl, and I just kind of eyeball it. I'm probably already going to have, like, way too much um, paint. So I might have to make a coaster. Coaster or two. Might need more flow trawl. So just stir it up, make sure you scrape the bottom, the sides, your popsicle stick. I didn't put very much paint in here, so. If you stir it up fast, you'll stir air into it, and that'll help um, give you some cells. They don't, I wouldn't even really call them cells, but it'll give you some cool effects when the bubbles pop. If you have purple paint underneath this green paint, and there's a bubble in the green paint, it'll pop, and then you can see the purple paint from underneath. If your paint's too thick, it'll not dry properly. I didn't even really check this one. The apple barrel paints are already very, very thin, so I usually don't even have to check those ones. Maybe two more ounces of Floetrol. Three. 
Floetrol is just a paint conditioner. It just um, helps you stretch out your paint so you can use, you know, less paint. I'm going to add some of this gold dust metallic to my white right here. So I just added like an eighth of a teaspoon and this stuff, man, it poofs up. I was like, oh, holy cow, I remember when I haven't used this in a long time. I should have had my respirator on. I was trying not to breathe for a minute. Always stir your white paint really, really, really well. Whoops. Just spilling Floetrol in my glass. That's okay. I'm going to need a little bit more Floetrol. So part of the challenge on Instagram is to use, you know, these certain colors, but I have to use white or black, you know, got to have something in there. So hopefully it still qualifies. See if we can see that gold. I don't really see anything. Oh, there it is. That's perfect. I just saw a clump thing this is our background color because when we spread it out we'll be able to see any chunks or clumps and we can pick them right out okay so I'm gonna move my blue and not my blue my green and my purple and pour this on no real method to the madness and then I'm gonna spread it out with my hands oh you can see that gold on there we don't want it um too thick. If you have it too thick, your paint won't dry properly. It'll be thick and textured. I forgot to say I taped the back of this um, just so if I have to pick it up and turn it, turn it at all. I'm going to try not to pick it up and turn it at all move it around, but um, just in case. So I'm just trying to be gentle and go even across here. And I put way too much paint on here. Um, these little dish pans, I got these at the Dollar Tree too, at my local dollar store, and then these are just um, cookie um, drying racks or cooling racks, and I got those at the dollar store as well. These were two pack for a dollar, and then the little dish pans were a dollar, so it's nice. And then all your paint just drips down into here, and then eventually you can just peel it out when it gets thick, thick enough. One, two, actually made the right amount of purple, just the exact right amount. Then I'll do some silver. Just slowly make your circle smaller. And then some green. I'm gonna have a lot of silver and green and white left. I could make a coaster. I'm 
And then I'm just going to take a scoop of silver. Not touching my stick to the paint, but just right above the green. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my white. Wow, I have a lot of white. Holy moly. Okay, I'm going to go grab my ball for the ball smash. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I'm scared. This was messy last time. Oh, that did nothing. I have to hit it harder. I think my paint might have been a little bit thick, but that's okay. We'll see what happens. Oh, so I'm going to take my torch, point it away from my piece for about five seconds. It's going to pop any of these bubbles. A minute. I don't really want to move. I'm just going to try to kind of tilt everything this way. Because you can see the glass through there, so I don't know. What's going to happen with that? It might be cool. Maybe it'll thin out, spread out. Okay, let's go in for a close-up. This part looks really awesome right here. You can see the silver popping through. This part looks awesome too. Look at that room there. So it's about 24 hours later and it's drying nicely. There's no texture or any bumps or lumps on the painting. I love how the silver kind of shines through. I brought this up in the sunlight in my living room so you could kind of see. I love this section right here where the silver's on top of the purple and the green and the purple and the silver. This one turned out nice. I like it. What color should I try for this technique next? You guys should try it too. It's really fun. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.